Are you struggling to get out of your head and a little bit more into your body? Are you struggling with focus, clarity, and everything else in between? Are you maybe even just neurodivergent and need a way to channel your energy? I got you. Today we are going to talk about the magic of candle gazing and why this is a wonderful, easy technique for all sorts of beginners, whether it's beginner into witchcraft, into meditation, into yoga, or just trying to deepen your spiritual practice. This technique is super easy, straight to the point. Anyone can do it and only takes a few minutes. Oh, and be sure to stay tuned until the end where I incorporate some personalized ways where you can incorporate candle gazing into your practice of yoga and witchcraft. Something a little more personal and beyond the basics. I know you'll love them. The last tip is personally my absolute favorite. Hey everyone, it's Anya. Welcome to the season of Anya where together we are building a community full of witches, yogis, mystics, and everyone else through healing ourselves through the practices of yoga, magic, and witchcraft. Candle gazing, the most straightforward meditation technique that you'll know. Candle gazing, or tradika in Sanskrit, simply means to gaze or stare. Tradika, or candle gazing, has been around since at least the 15th century when it first made its appearance in the Hatha Yoga Pradipika, which is simply the Hatha Yoga Manual. Hatha Yoga is just one of the many styles of yoga in the yogiverse. In this Hatha Yoga manual, Tradika candle gazing is known as one of the six ways to prepare and cleanse your body for the practices of yoga, breath work, meditation, or deep spiritual connection. Just like other meditation techniques, candle gazing is great for improved health, improved sleep, improved focus. Oh my goodness, it helps so much with improving your focus, spatial awareness, and mental health. A nice added benefit, since we are working with the flame, it is actually said to improve your eye health due to the fire of the flame and focusing your attention on said flame. So, how do we do it? It's super easy. Really, all you need is a candle. If you're super lucky and can get your hands on a bonfire, that is amazing, but that is a whole different vibe. Typically, I'm just using a chime candle. It's the simplest and most effective. If you don't know what a chime candle is, it's just one of these little small, they're also called spell candles. And I think there's even called birth, like large birthday candles. I'll link it down in my comments down below if you're curious on that. Um, otherwise too, you can also use a seven day candle. These are still effective, but I like kind of having that exposed flame. Or honestly, use what you got. Just use a regular candle. Isn't this nice? My client got me this for Christmas. How to do it. As the name implies, all you really gotta do, light that sucker up, set it, and gaze into the flames. It's that simple. In the Hatha Yoga Manual, they want you making an intense gaze with that candle. Nothing else right in the room matters to the point where you are staring so deeply, so intently at that flame that your eyes begin to, to water up, to tear up because you are not breaking connection. You are not blinking. Do what works for you. Now, since I am a yoga witch, I figured I would offer a couple ways to spice it up a little bit, should you be called to it. But really, this is enough. Just gaze into that candle and allow yourself that. For my yogis, you can very much incorporate candle gazing into your yoga practice. Just light that sucker up, connect with it as you do your centering before your flow, and then keep it illuminated and have that be your drishti focus when you are especially trying to focus on balancing postures or anything like that. In case you didn't know, the drishti focus is just something that is non-moving. Another tip for my yogis, you can definitely do some mantras when you are connecting with that flame, when you are candle gazing. I love the good old oldie but a goodie, om gam gana pataye namaha. That's for those of us who work with Ganesh energy. Repeating that over and over and over again as you are exchanging energy with the flame is a really good way to get you focused especially if you feel like you are still getting lost in all the other distractions. Mantra magic and chanting is awesome. I'll go ahead and link a really awesome Ganesh mantra if that's something you're interested in. Hey, if you're liking this content, be sure to hit that thumbs up and click that subscribe button. That way you and I can stay connected, we can build this community together, and we can learn more ways to heal ourselves through a magical, prosperous life of yoga and witchcraft. Now for some witchy ways to connect with candle gazing, although these could also apply to my yogis, so be nice. If you have a colored candle, maybe have it represent the element. Uh, if you're overactive and, and too hyper, blue, 
water. Calm. Stillness. You can also carve a sigil into the candle. As you light and connect with that candle, mindfully and intentionally carve that sigil and direct and focus your energy into that to prep you for the candle gazing. If you don't want to do a sigil, hold it with intention before lighting it. Start to charge it. Start to feel your energy shift, direct, and focus. But my favorite witchy way of connecting with candle gazing has to be using it on top of my spell jar. So what will I do? Grab my spell jar. I got plenty of tutorials on spell jars. Give it a good shake, maybe some thanks, some gratitude, uh, put a little magic, some dreams in there, if you know what I'm saying. Give it a, just give it a little loving, put, direct my energy into there. Give it a good shake, of course. And then, uh, depending on what I have, I'll usually just put my candle holder right on top. Boom, boom. Light it up, shake it up. Call it a day. Well, don't shake it while it's lit, but you know what I mean. Light it up, get into the spirit of it, and allow that to kind of shift and redirect your focus. Well, I love, love the spirit of love. If you don't have one of these small chime candle holders, this one's covered in wax. I don't know if you can really tell. You can even just light the bottom of your candle for a little bit, you know, get that wax nice and melty and, well, you can't really see, but plop it on the top, just like that. All right, my friends, well, that's a wrap. I hope you enjoyed this video on candle gazing and I hope you were able to put it in your back pocket because it really is an invaluable tool that I have to have in my, honestly, in my daily routine. So if you liked this video and you want more witchy yogi content, be sure to hit that subscribe button. There you go, that eager beaver for the day. So much love, so much healing to you all on this journey. I will catch you on the next one.